Hey guys, I got a tip off from my neighbor that someone had trespassed on my property. Let's check it out. So I walk in and immediately notice that part of my fence has been vandalized. As I walk deeper into the property, I notice some cows in my farm. I immediately make a call to the local authority to come and take the necessary action. In no time, the area chief shows up with some policemen and they take the cows away with them. I guess the owner will be fined some money before he gets back his cattle. But who gets to fix my property which was damaged? In no time, we end up at the nearest police station where I record a statement and hope some necessary action will be taken. With that done, I get back to the property to fix my fence, which had been vandalized with the help of a neighbor. I know my property has been lying idle for some time, but that does not give anyone permission to just break in and do whatever they want. Vandalism of property is very common here, especially on property owned by women. The society still doesn't see women as people who can own land and develop it. I just hope the action I've taken will bring an end to this because I really don't want to be at loggerheads with my neighbors all the time. And today I've come to replace some trees of mine that were burnt down. Did I tell you about it? Just a few weeks ago, some other person set fire on my property, bringing down most of the trees I had planted. And part of the house also caught fire. I'm not a quitter, so no amount of intimidation is going to stop me. This dream of mine has to come true. I brought with me lots of palm trees and some fruit trees to replace the ones that were burnt down, which I'm just going to plant today. It's the rain season, so hopefully they are going to pick up very fast and grow.
And as always, luck is on my side. As soon as I finish planting, the rain starts to fall. What do you This is my fence being used as a clothesline. It weakens the fence, but that's what happens. So weeks earlier, some malicious person set fire on my property. Look at this. My tree that was already fruity. And you know, it takes four years for a pomegranate tree to fruit. So this was the first fruit I was getting after four years of waiting and then the fire just brings the whole tree down but there are a few leaves growing so let me just hope it's going to grow back to the tree it was so all my trees burnt down The grass is growing again. My beautiful palms all raised down by the fire. Look at all these trees I had planted and were already maturing. All is left is skeletons of what used to be a beautiful compound. Look at all the trees dried up from a fire that was set without my consent. Someone walks into your property and feels they should just burn things down. Look at my trees. But I'm glad there is some sign of life in this one, so it might just be growing back, even this one. Look at these shells left. I'm so sad because I spent a fortune on some of the trees. I bought some ornamental trees that were really expensive. But they've all been raised down by the fire. Like this one. So the fire was really bad. It took the intervention of some good Samaritans to put the fire out because I wasn't really anywhere close to this place. And part of the house also got burned. So this is some part of the electrical work I had done. Now, part of it is burnt down.
meaning I'll have to redo it. So I think this is very dangerous. This could fall any time. And especially with the rains, current rains. It's gonna get weak and just fall off. So looks like I'm going to buy a new pole. Which is damn expensive over here. I don't know how much the Kenya power people will charge me for that. So honestly, I don't know why people really don't respect women's property around here. As I walk out of my home, I just hope this is going to be the last time people trespass on my property. And I'm not going to take anything lightly. Thanks for watching.